Friday marked day two of the Oakland teacher strike. As of Saturday, there's still no deal and nothing being negotiated. Still, it's pretty confusing. Um, there's parts that are missing. There's a lot of errors. Um, there actually seems to be some regression. Vilma Serrano is the co-chair of the teacher union's bargaining team. The union says it received a new written proposal from the school district on Friday night. They spent all day Saturday preparing a counteroffer. For PE teachers, it shows that it would be as a class size reduction. One PE teacher would get two students, um, which would be great if it was a personal training class, but um, that's not what our PE classes are. Samia Khatab is part of the OEA's 50-member bargaining team. The bargaining team says that PE number should be 248 students, not two. Katab says such errors are raising concern over efforts being put forth by the district. We need them to really take the time to analyze that the, wor the work that they're putting forward to us. The union says it hasn't met face-to-face -face with the district's negotiating team since Tuesday. The district did not return requests for comment, but it did put out a statement Saturday morning. It states that what's being offered is a historic $70 million for teacher salaries. It also highlights concessions made on teacher workload. If we don't get it, shut it down. The deadlock is now over common good proposals. These are issues that go beyond classroom learning, issues such as environmental justice, transportation, or student homelessness. The district argues these are greater societal issues and that they are not mandatory to negotiate. Therefore, the district hasn't given authorization to its team to bargain on these points. We know that our uh, working conditions are, are directly related to students' um, uh, learning conditions. But the union argues common good is part of their comprehensive package and won by other Bay Area school districts. One example, California is investing heavily in community schools with millions in funding on the line. The union says regarding community schools, an agreement on common good is about accountability. So that all of us have a voice in how that money is being used. And that can be very threatening to people in power. So that, I think, is really the root of the struggle right now. The union says if there's no deal by Sunday, they strike on Monday. In Oakland, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.